I mean, Apple's looking strong in the day. I wouldn't, I wouldn't short Apple here. Although it, from a mighty 90 setup, now it is setting up. So now I would potentially look at an Apple short. In fact, I'll do that. Um, Apple, it's, it's positive on the day. So it's, it's not like it's a weak stock, but it's broke the highs of the day, getting a higher volume. I'm looking at the 10, 107 half puts in Apple. Uh, $2.15. I'm going to go in with 10 contracts. I'm going to raise my order to $2.17. Okay, before I did, I got filled. So I got filled at $2.16. 107 half puts. So we got a higher volume pop, broke the highs of the day on a price push. Looking for a little, little reversal here. So I'll go ahead and put my order in to exit half of those at, so I got in at 216. So I'll put it in order to close half of those at, let's just go with 237. Apple starting to come down. We'll see if it wants to really roll over for me here, or if it's gonna, what it's gonna do. Got an order to exit half of those contracts at two dollars and 37 cents currently trading about 230 right now apple coming down if it makes a little bit of a push lower there i go i got filled at two dollars and 37 cents about nine percent profit on those on half those contracts so now i've got five left holding so apple we're on our second red bar here we'll look to potentially start scaling out i'm going to go ahead and put in an order to Close out a couple more contracts. If it pushes down again, I'm going to put the order in at $2.40. Got out of some more apples at $2.40 as it's pushing lower. Again, we're on our second, second red bar. We've got a couple minutes before it closes here. Just trying to kind of scale out. Put in an order for a couple more at $2.50. Got filled. All right, so I got a few left. All right, so Apple, I only have one contract left. I'll go ahead and close that out here. If it'll let me. All right, closed out. Apple booked a nice winner there, had that big price push and got caught this little pullback there. So out of Apple, 